Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today, once again, we're having a look at Speechify. So Speechify is an app that goes from text to speech. So you take a photo or some text, or if you're using the web extension, which I haven't and won't be part of this review, you can get it to read what's on the screen for you. I have reviewed this app previously and it did not go that well because the thing just was buggy as hell. So has it improved or is it still the same? Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so before we get off the bat here with this, <laughs> so Speechify normally offers a three day free trial. It must have known that I'd already used it, but even so, opening up the app, you're presented with this little screen here that says, activate your three day free trial. I hit that, instantly 200 bucks out of my account. So we're not off to a great start, Speechify and I. So let's see what it holds for me. Okay, so it is back to the usual sort of thing. So you can see I haven't even listened to 1500 words on it yet, but I have used a few little bits and pieces here. Now you do have like this guy. Hi, I'm Cliff Weitzman. I'm dyslexic. Reading a sentence takes me the same amount of energy and brain power as most people take when solving a four-digit. So you can see that, you know, you know, reading it with Cliff's, Cliff's voice here. So here we can choose our voices and we have heaps. And they're in all different languages as you can see here as well. So that's a great thing for people. So we can go Google Turkish female three, maybe. This is the premium version, mind you, as well. And mind you too, things do take a long, long time to load on this. So done. Let's see if not. There you go. Won't work. So there's a bug already. With that, uh, let's just Merhaba. go this one. Benim adım Filiz. Ben İsveç sesim. And once again, we're loading. But now we should be ready. <laughs> And so you can see some voices work, some don't. Uh, and you can see it's just as annoying to navigate things. There we go, English female. So, oh no, we'll just go that Hi, one. my name is Google. As That'll do. And over here you can choose your speed. Now, still, uh, you can choose to be a speed reader, which is like 900 words per minute, which is. The great. An absolute mess that no one can understand. So I don't even know why that's a feature for this, unless you're just following it. But as you look at it too, you'll notice that it doesn't have, as we go back down to normal talking speeds. Worst part was my dad. He was my hero. It doesn't have a thing to show you what exact word that they're actually on. So what use is it? I'm not sure for that. So that's Cliff's story. That's an inbuilt thing that's already in there. So how does it go with some of the other bits and pieces? Uh, here we go. Came into contact with. So came let's into resume contact this. with Moan shit together for you. We'll restart, and sorry. Super easy. This was the pain that Bones was carrying around with him. Once he shared this with Zabok, Bones felt free. The freedom and relief he felt was phenomenal. Bones then told Spock and Kirk what had happened. So here, this is actually pretty good. Three minutes, 550 words, 535 words, sorry. 10 pages. What? Anyway, you can see up the top here, this is all a garbled mess. This is because it chose, if we can have a look at the picture, no we can't, okay. So chapter 9 when the transformation begins is the actual start of that page. All this stuff before it was caught off the end or the side of the other page. As we go back, you might be able to see it in there. Yeah, you can see that when you're taking a picture, which we'll get into shortly, it doesn't really take it right and you have to crop it afterwards. Article 1 proposed that even though myofascial work appears to be working simply with the physical tissue structure, it is actually working with the energetic field of the body. That was just a little excerpt out of a magazine that I did and it worked well. So the actual technology behind it is working a lot better than it used to. So that is a big plus. The app does what it wants to do, mostly. So if we go to add another one, go to scan pages, and we pick up our little magazine here. You can see if we take the photo and go next, we can see that it's processed. It didn't even let me do it that time. It didn't even let me crop it. And you can see here that it's just taking a long time to analyze that page. And that's the thing, it does take a long time. So if you know, you're know you in a rush and you're scanning pages of a textbook or something, or even just sitting there in public, like dyslexic, whatever, and you're having trouble reading something and you take a photo of it, it is going to take a long time before you're actually able to hear it. Awesome, and fail during processing. So that's a new one as well. Ah, oh, excellent. What a good demonstration. Anyway, let's 
try that again. I don't even know what page that was, but let's just go there. I think it was that one. Document is ready to listen. Okay, Hello. so here. At my major, he being my father. Sage, I would get a massage and DM me to do gift. He always while learning and was king and just as L, he's still around helping me with all have to be the feeling of being UN in someone's easy giving text after treatments overwhelming. It's through word W I must be doing while. Listen, practitioner, for me. I have rabble moments in able to awareness of has helped me in growth. I am at how the body D, how they can ITH the help of and therapies. New dream a lot. Okay, so that garble mess was. The part on the side, I think, but here is where it actually Learn as starts. Much as you can, the actual article. It and mainly believe that you are here for a reason, a purpose to be a healer. Pay attention to your intuition. Most of all, look after you. Keep your mind, body, and soul. And there you go. So it does work pretty well now. Like, there's not a lot of garble mess as there was before. But let's just try a book, for instance. Fucking oh, maybe. So doing my best here. As you can see on the picture here. It's just that. And so then I'll go next. But then, as you can see on this bit, we have a whole bunch of side text, like from the other page that I tried to cut out. So if we go to that, looking at our cropping, and this is just an unnecessary step. If you take the picture properly, it should have worked the first time. Done. And now we just wait for our file to process. So while we wait for that to process, let's have a look at, so you can see I've got my thing on there, premium words, I've got so many words left before I probably have to pay them again. My premium subscription, renew, no, <laughs> no. Frequently asked questions, troubleshoot your problems, and what's new. So you can go through, or you could, where was that? Oh, you can sort your library too, by alphabetical order and all that sort of stuff, which is good. There we go, right versus wrong, that's up. There was... Make this release, yeah, this one's a bit better than it was. And then you can ask them anything there as well. So they are willing to help. It is, seems like they're, they're really trying to improve their product, get it to a usable standard for people. But we'll just have a look at this one. I P.S. Wrong, you may recall I first mentioned the docudrama, What the Bleak, down the rabbit hole in the possibility B.S. necessity section at the end of chapter three. In this outstanding film, the concepts of quantum mechanics, perception and reality are discussed. One of the real life individuals in the film is a priest and he spoke at a seminar here in Australia. During his seminar, a student spoke so you can see that it is working quite well. That's not a garbled mess as it used to be. And then down here too, you've got your updates where it goes through all the release notes of what they've done for the app. So they are actively trying to improve it and it does seem to be working quite a bit better. So there is that. But then we come down to, is it worth it? Is it worth the price that you know, you're paying for this? So $200 Australian or 209 or something like that is pretty steep in my opinion for a text to speech app. So <sighs> While it is useful, and you may find use for it, that premium price is a bit of a killer when it comes down to it, really. So, take with it what you will, how much are you going to use it, are there any cheaper alternatives out there that I'll probably even look at reviewing in this on this channel. Because, <sighs> I'm not real satisfied that they take $200 out straight out of my account, even after it says for a free day trial. So I could probably get my money back, but I don't know, the last video I made a lot more than $200 anyway, so I've sort of still come out on top of that. But will I use it more? Probably not. Hey, even if I have a year subscription on it, I might even use it down the track to do another follow-up review, see if they've improved it further, added more features, or what have you. Made that processing time a lot quicker, because it is still a long time that you're sitting there waiting for it. It's okay, I suppose, if you take a couple of pictures for those pages, get yourself organized, ready for work or the bus or whatever you're doing to for your commute, and then use them. But if you're sitting in a classroom, dyslexic or having an issue reading or whatever the case may be, or you've got eyesight problems, and you take those pictures and you're waiting for that, and then you have to go crop them all and all that sort of thing as well, it's going to take an alarming amount of time. And by the time it all loads and gets through and whatever else, you're probably out of that class, out of that situation where you probably need it. So there is that as well. But as it goes at the moment, it is doing the job that it does quite well. For the value of the price and for however much they're paying Gwyneth Paltrow to have her voice on there as well, which is a feature that I don't think I'll ever use. Like I want to know how much of this cost is actually going to all the development and everything like that, as well as how much is going to her for her royalties, for her use of voice in a feature that you know, probably a lot of people are going to use as well as any other celebrities that they want to have endorse this program this thing so it's yeah it is what it is it works well now thankfully but 
Still, just not quite there. Not quite the premium price product that they're charging for. So with this one, I give it about a six out of 10. It's better than what it was, but still leaves a lot to be desired. Anyway guys, what do you think of Speechify, especially now? Leave a comment down below, and please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe on this video, and I'll see you in the next one.